Hi, it's Alex Fournier for Alex Fournier Art and Artistic Purposes. Today, this episode is brought to you by nobody in particular. When you're down on your luck and you have no one, be sure to think about the fact that nobody in particular has your back. All right, let's get started. Today, we're going to be talking about a few techniques to add three dimensionality through bounce light, edge lighting, and charcoal on newsprint. All right, let's talk about bounce. Okay, I'm not talking about a bouncy ball, although I am talking about a ball. One of the exercises you do when you do core shadow, cast shadow, and bounce shadow is drawing a sphere with a single light source, right? And so when you look here, I have a few samples. So you have the, the ball, you have the core shadow, right? You have the cast shadow on a surface, and then you have this, which we call the bounce, okay? So light is coming in and it's it's reflecting into the object itself okay i've drawn it here as well and i'll do some exercises showing how to do that but what i want to talk about today is bounce lighting okay and and how to accomplish it in charcoal well charcoal we only have black right and then we have newsprint as your negative space but how do you make enough gradation so something looks like it's reflected light something looks like it's light we have middle tone and, and things like that, some three-dimensionality. So here's a few tricks. All right, so we have our, our bounce light here. Now, when you think of it, yes, these are exercises, but they're also good if you think about what are these showing us. Okay, so the bounce light, what else does this look like, right? We have a chin here, and we have a bounce light right here, okay? And we have the cast shadow that's under here, just like this. Okay, look at the nose. We have a core shadow here, but we have light that's bouncing underneath the nose. Okay, we have above the eye. Okay, so we've got this piece of, so you have the eyebrow, but you have this piece of flesh above the eyelid and below the brow that usually gets some light. Okay, and so that's, that's a bounce there. Okay, the other trick um, with figure drawing is you think of like, okay, so what else does this bounce look like, this circular? It's showing that the surface is coming out. It's, it's coming towards the viewer, okay? So when we look at figure drawing, we see something like this, okay? This is a, a shadow, but there's a bounce light underneath that is making this three-dimensional, right? Okay? So you got to think about that, that there's this bounce this underneath is a shadow but it's not that dark because it has light coming up from underneath okay all right so let's do a few of these exercises together we have compressed charcoal okay in this in this case is general's charcoal okay this is a 2b uh rectangular uh, a rectangular uh, shape, whatever it's called, uh, tool. Um, and some of the tricks that I use are really using it almost like a chisel, a sponge, uh, I'm dragging, I'm pulling, I'm doing all these kinds of things. So even when I'm doing a, a circle, I'm actually using just kind of the edge of it, okay? And then I can sharpen those details with, with kind of a, a point, okay? All right, let's say, so I'm doing this exercise, right? And don't be afraid to do more um, geometric edges instead of just circular all the time, okay? All right, so we have this, and we can just drag right across here, okay? But not the whole way, but I'm angled just slightly so that one side of that is gonna be darker than the other, okay? Okay, so we've got core shadow, we've got a bounce, okay? And we've got cast shadow. Okay, simple enough, okay? And then because we just have black and this paper, sometimes I have to do some implying that now that's white and this is off-white, this is core shadow and this is bounce, right? So sometimes you have to 
you have to build up a little negative space so that you can pull back out your highlight, okay? In this case, I was just doing a kneaded eraser just for, okay? In this case, we'll go low here. And I don't always brush it like this, but this can give more of a, even a reflective feeling to it, almost like a, um, let's say it's more like a cue ball and a, like a pool ball, right? Okay, so uh, another exercise is to make sure that when you're drawing, you know, limbs or things like that, think of it like a tube, like a cylinder, right? And make sure don't just draw these lines that don't connect anything. So imply that you're getting over to the other side of it and I don't fully lift the charcoal off the page, I just let it jump across, okay? So, because let's say this is the shoulder here and this is an arm, okay? And this is, I, I drag this way to imply this form, this volume is underneath this volume, okay? Here's another trick for three-dimensionality. Uh, I call it the uh, turning edge. Not that I coined the term, but in terms of when I'm talking about shading the edge, you don't want to shade all the way to the edge. You want to imply, it's almost like a little bit of a bounce there, but you're implying that there's some light around the corner that you're that you're leaving room for, okay? You can even do it on both sides. And it starts to get a little bit of highlight, a little bit of three-dimensionality, right? So if you think of something like a, a you know, big old coffee mug or something, okay? Some of the time, the, the way to make something, um, you know, look three-dimensional is to imply right, that there's light on the other side of it, okay? So, so that's what we're doing with um, figure drawing a lot of times, is you don't want, you don't want to color this all the way to the edge. I mean, most of the time you don't. You want to imply that there's something else on that other side. All right, so now that we've done our uh, core shadow, cast shadow, and bounce. What else can that tell us about the figure, the face, or other things? So look at this shape, okay? So what else, what else is this? Where, where else is this scene, okay? In terms of, let's say, figure or portrait. Um, okay, so look at this. This is gonna be a, you know, a person. Let's see how horrible they look, okay? But we've got like a core shadow here, but there could be a bounce under the nose, okay? So, right, because it's coming out. So it's like a ball, you know, there's some sort of shape of the nose, okay? But what about under here is this bounce. Okay, so you can think of it that way. Okay, let's say we're we're also thinking of the chin. Okay, we've got this shadow comes down here. Okay, and we don't always want to just color the shadow all the way down to the edge and wonder why it looks flat. Okay, you can actually do the core shadows here, but there's all this room under here, okay, I'm just going to draw the neck, okay, so check this out, okay, so right here underneath the chin is this, is the bounce, right, and that's because, you know, if we do the side view of this, okay, kind of side view, okay, pretend this is looking awesome. Right, so this chin, because it comes out, that's like this ball, right? That has 
a core shadow and then a bounce underneath, okay? Um, let's add a little few details here. Okay, the other thing we can do related to this turning edge on a face is we, we actually can show some of the front plane of the face, but leave this other part empty implying the turning edge and implying three dimensionality of the of the sh uh, patterns and shapes that are on the face okay all right what else does this look like in figure okay so we've got let's say we've got figure here let's see if you can figure out what i'm drawing all right maybe it's clear now okay okay so we have a female figure okay and what do we have going on here okay right here we have a circle and a core shadow okay and we have bounce underneath okay and so we're able to give three dimensionality to it because it follows the same principle, okay? If we're uh, drawing the, the arm over here, which I, we'll see how good or bad I do it here, um, we can imply, we can imply some three dimensionality by doing this, turning edge, okay? All right, so all of those things are working together to give three-dimensionality and in, in lighting and tone in, in charcoal. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to look out for more content as soon as I figure out how the algorithm works. Just kidding, I have no clue how it works.